So the Sony A7 IV's gotta have a flip out screen, unlike the Sony A1, right? Uh, so if all we were done talking about this Sony, and by talking about this, I mean me tweeting about it, it is Jaeger from JaegerShots.com. And we had some camera announcements take place, namely the Sony A1. And for those new here, this is taken mostly from my podcast series that I do almost monthly where I talk to interesting people and talk about tech in a little bit longer form. Find that in all the usual podcast finding places. After posting a video just last year where I made my very own predictions after the launch of the ZV-1 calling for flip outs as well as webcam usage, more on that in just a second, enter the Sony A1, a name that is so great, I'm positive they'll never stop calling it an A1. We're just going to get A1 Mark IIs, A1 Mark Threes, and Fours, and so on, because A1 is A1 sounding. Or I'm just gonna have a hankering for some sauce in the steak. Oh, it is a valid point. The A1 is the flagship camera aimed at photojournalism, the Olympics, if that ever, ever happens again. At 6,500, you know if this thing is for you or not. But also a valid point is that the flip out screen is just flat out convenient. Flippy other screens are really often dismissed easily by people too, as if someone just wants to walk around with a camera and shoot themselves like they're the old school Tyler Breeze gimmick. Seriously, look up those old NXT footage of Tyler Breeze doing just that gimmick. It is hilarious. One minute, the camera makers and fans of said camera makers will point out to you that it's mainly a stills camera first. Why are you even expecting all those other advertised features? Uh, another minute, Sony and Canon are dropping software to turn your camera into a webcam, making them a stills video webcam hybrid plus one three three triple threat something which is very very cool if you're a streamer too even though that software does have some limits to it it is definitely better than not having that option in place at all the a7 III was just so perfect as a perfect perfect there's a lot of perfects sony could have just put the damn flippy out on the camera close to perfect as an all-arounder and cameras that i kind of still think the a7 IV will have the flip out however i was 100 percent sure last week and this week i'm only 90 percent sure that is going to be the case time is gonna tell we should probably know something before the end of 2021 but that a7 s3 did take a while to get here too so i don't suggest holding any breaths but I want to hear what you think. Comment below and swing by JaegerShots.com to pick up some channel-inspired shirts like the one I'm rocking right now, as well as some other photo and video themed apparel. And subscribe to never miss a shot from JaegerShots.com.